In the southeast, the average wage is 34,000 pounds. In Yorkshire, it is 10 grand less. I don't think there's any sort of great career jobs around here. Well, I don't know anybody that's got a great career job anyway. Poorer families here are the hardest hit. Goodbye. But how much does money really matter? <laughs> Two families from opposite ends of the wealth divide are about to find out. They're gorgeous, aren't they? One in the south enjoying the rewards of entrepreneurial enterprise. We live a pretty cool life. We do nice things. The other in the north, crippled by debts of £20,000. Our financial situation is absolutely dire. Let's do it. For one week, they are crossing the north, south oh. and the wealth divide. Oh, this is cosy. Swapping homes. It looks gorgeous. <laughs> budgets. 1,900. That's mental, isn't it? And lives. Keep going, keep going, keep going. To discover if money really does buy happiness. <laughs> Confident that location poses no barrier to success in business, Jesson wants to find out more about opportunities in Bradford. I think we're on the high street and there's like so many closed down stores and so many like empty shops. Just wondering how, how the economy's doing up here. As an investor who's played the property market down south, the estate agent window should give him some clues. We've got stuff like a two-bedroom mid-terrace property with off-street parking for 62,000, like, you know, down south. Yeah, you'd be lucky if you pick up something like that for 140, 150, 160 grand in, well, in the Kent area anyway. London's even worse. This is a steal, but it just makes you wonder why, why people aren't grabbing it. Yeah. Hi. Inside, can estate agent Chloe provide any answers? If somebody was struggling for money out here in Bradford, would you say there there is work around for people like to, to go and get a job at least? And yeah, no, there's lots of work. work. There's lots yeah, of work. there's factories and things and, and lots of lots of work for people. Yeah, so there's definitely opportunities to, yeah, no, definitely to go and get a job right at person, least. Yeah. yeah. No shortage of jobs, but prices suggest wages are low. I think any jobs that are available are low paid. There is also a lack of resources or education around what people can and can't do, even if they're on a lower income. It's clear now to Jesson that although this is a tougher environment, the foxes can succeed with help. They could easily buy their own house with a few little tweaks around their finances. There are creative ways to raise a deposit. I have no idea what it is that I'm going to be doing today, so... Yeah, a bit of uncertainty going on, uh, but excitement at the same time. He's doing a shift at A to B Transporter Services. Are we feeling confident? Uh, I'm always confident. In charge is Glyn, Lee's boss, and there's no time for small talk. So we can either load onto the top deck, yeah. or we can go onto the bottom. I'd like to see if you can go onto the top deck. Let's do it. I'm always up for a challenge. Jesson works mostly in an office in his minimalist house. This couldn't be more different. As long as I don't get oil on my expensive coat, I'll be happy. Halfway up, I'll tell you when to stop. Don't be frightened about revenue. It was pretty scary. And it gets to a point when you're going up this ramp where, like, the wheels might start spinning. Once you get it going, just try and keep it going. But it's so steep. Bit of right hand down. You can't see anything. Stop! And brake on. Out of gear, turn it off. And then opening the door to get out and realising that I was, like, 20 foot off the ground. Look, hold on to the safety rails. Look, I'm not going to lie. It was fun. I'm just trying to line him up for his launch. It was scary. <laughs> keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. It's keep a going. steep learning curve. And that'll do. Just turn it off in gear. I do have compassion for Lee because he actually has to physically do this every day. That's it. So, do I get the job? When do you start? <laughs> Monday. <laughs> if you go around that side, mate, the door's open. The cars are ready for delivery. Could be a bumpy down here. It's chance for Jesson to find out more about Lee's work from his colleague, Ricky. They're long days, isn't it? Yeah, they can be. Because he lives in Bradford, so, like, he does stay out a couple of nights in his truck as well. I learned that he is not even sleeping in a hotel. This man is sleeping in his truck. You know, he wants to better himself, he wants to earn more money. 
Lee could earn more if he trained to drive HGVs, but that training costs £4,000. He wants more out of life. He wants to earn more. He wants to get his Class 1 licence. He's working some serious long hours in order to get paid. Back in Bradford, Jesson's even more motivated to help the family after discovering the hours Lee puts in at work. So I was just putting some cutlery and bits away, and this stuff caught my eye. Coming up with a solution is about to get even more difficult. They've maxed out on the credit card. This one's a demand for payment for a car. It's been referred to a debt collection agency. This has been going on for years. Yeah, it almost feels like this drawer's where all the stuff that they want to bury their heads in the sand and ignore go. Some people get into debt because they live beyond their means out of choice. They'll buy expensive clothes and electrical goods and all that kind of stuff, and we, clearly these people don't, don't have that. And I know why people don't do it. It's because it's like they bury their head in the sand and it's like you don't want to, you don't want to face your fear. But the burden of it could start to lift if they just faced it. Jesson and Lorna are discovering how Jamie tries to earn some extra cash. So we've got one, two, three pairs of jeans. What Jamie's doing is she's buying second-hand clothes, basically. Sees which ones are good for, for her and the kids or whatever. And whatever's left, she's actually listing them on eBay, apparently. The first task is photographing the clothes. Next, they have to be uploaded onto the site. Finally, pricing. And time to check out the demand for second-hand denim. A lot of these are going as uh, they're listed, and they are ending. a lot of them are ending soon with no bids on them. That's a lot of effort she goes to for um, just, you know, a couple of items. I think it's really great that Jamie is trying to make extra money. Um, I admire her for it, actually, with being so busy. But maybe it's just the wrong items. Jamie's aspiration is to do her own thing, run her own business, work for herself. I actually think it's a waste of time. She's trying the wrong vehicles. <laughs> So what's it been like this week? For me, it's been amazing. I mean, that's something, you know, we're never, ever going to live anywhere like never you Never say never. The space, space. you've got. <laughs> it's just like, it's crazy, we, we isn't it? We enjoyed this place. Yeah. Very yeah, well, look, when you've got a similar-sized family in a smaller space, it's going to get cluttered, isn't it? For, for us, the blessing was we tend to, like, gloss over a lot of stuff with money, i.e., like, kids are bored, right, let's go out. Yeah. You know, so it made us realise that you don't always have to like, go out. Yeah. yeah. The, like, there's simple things like, cooking a meal together. We actually got involved, instead of doing our online shopping, going to the market, chatting to people. Everyone yeah, yeah. was really warm, really welcoming. I'm curious, what were your biggest lessons this week like? To me, people say to you, can money buy your happiness? It makes it comfortable, and it makes things a heck of a lot easier. Yeah, we may as well talk about it, because I, you know, I came across some, the, the drawer of death. Oh, God. Shall we the say? Of doom. But you, you really do need to get these people off your back, and uh, I'm happy to give you some advice on that, because all of that can get consolidated. That's just the start of the James's rescue plan. Lee's income can only go up if he qualifies as a class one or HGV driver. You're doing well with what you're doing and you've got a desire to earn more. We we would we would fund your class one. Oh, oh. <laughs> I am notorious for changing people's lives around with what I do. You've got an entrepreneurial spirit. Yeah, you've got yeah. the right attitude, which is which is really, really important. I think where you're falling down at the moment is a lack of knowledge. That's all, that's what it's down to, definitely. A lack of yeah, uh, business a acumen, a without lack of doubt. training. I, I think the best thing to do to get you where you need to be, I'm going to personally train and mentor you. Who, God, that'd be fantastic, you know, yeah. And, and my mentoring is brutal. <laughs> it's not a handout. We're all going to have to work for it, if yeah, that makes yeah. any sense. I'm going to teach you exactly how to set up a business, how a business runs. Once you've got a business, idea, I'm going to fund your startup of your business. Oh, my God. Oh, can I just, like, get off and give you a hug? Of course you can. <laughs> <laughs> it's Lorna as well. I think I go again. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome.